Hello and welcome to a tutorial video on N4 Document Management's X Queries. While N4's Query Builder can handle most scenarios, knowing how to build and use X Queries allows you, the user, further versatility when it comes to searching up more document types, making API calls, and some more examples we'll go over later. Some users might note that as the Query Builder is used, at the top you may change it to enter query manually, and any changes in the Query Builder will be shown there. This is a good way to explore and figure out the syntax and how you might have to word X queries. Now an IDM X query starts a document type with a forward slash, as the example shown on screen demonstrates. Please note that spaces are replaced with underscores. For every document type, we include arguments. The arguments are enclosed inside of brackets for an X query. The most basic X query would be forward slash doc type bracket sign at sign argument. An argument could be further broken down into attribute operator value. Now let me show you some examples on using X queries. Let's say for example that you're searching up all documents with the company name Acme in them. This argument shown here has resource name for the attribute, like as the operator, and Acme as a value. The like operator is special and stands out though because it introduces a wildcard character in the form of the percentage symbol. Searching for like Acme percentage sign would match for anything that starts with Acme. Now let's say you were searching for some time specific documents. Instead of having to manually put in the date, there are functions available such as year, month, day, date, along with a few others. All of these functions are valid on data types of date timestamp, and UUID respectively. For a more comprehensive list of values and operators, feel free to check out the description. Now in this example, let's say you're looking for any documents created in a set time period. We can combine two or more arguments in a document using AND and OR to restrict or expand the number of results, specifically using the AND operator in this scenario. Now let's talk about another operator, UNION to be specific. Say for example that I wanted to look at all AP invoices created by myself, but also all AR invoices. Using the union operator allows me to show results from both document types. We can also add sort by ascending and sort by descending to the end of the X query to sort the results by an attribute. The attribute must be shared by all document types in the X query, so usually you sort by a system property. Now let's search for a document via IDM's REST APIs. You can find this in IONS API Gateway and the API can be very useful for handling larger amounts of data. You can see here that after inputting the X query, you must also put the index of the search and the amount of results you want back. This last example concludes our tutorial video. For more resources on N4 document management, check out the video description below. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to keep an eye out for future tutorials.